welcome friends to Max Q Barbecue. I'm Craig, and today we're going to look at the reasons why I chose the Workhorse 1957 Offset Smoker for my backyard. Workhorse pits are not custom barbecue pits. However, Workhorse gives you several options to choose for when building your pit. For the 1957, there are six options available for the choice. For me, I chose four of those six. And today we're gonna to look at why I chose those four. The workhorse pit comes with a 37 inch wide cooking surface. However, they do offer an option for a top level grill which I happen to have purchased. The top level grill adds additional cooking surface for when you have extra friends and family. You need to cook a few more items to feed the crowds coming over. Slides right in. Since I ordered the top cooking shelf, you get a third thermometer. Workhorse adds a tell true thermometer near the top shelf to give you the cooking temperature at that location. The next option I chose was the Cowboy Grill. The Cowboy Grill provides you also additional grilling surface, but this provides grilling surface that is directly over the fire for direct heat. And in my case, I like to add a pizza stall every now and then so that I can cook a pizza on the grill and get that wood fire brick oven pizza taste. The next option that I selected was the side cart. It slides and it slips up from the side and has a little wing nut which you use to hold it in place. I use the side cart for my thermal work signals thermometer because it's on the left side of the grill. Note, just above the smoke collector is a probe port where I can plug in or have the thermal works temperature probes pass into the grill. The fourth choice has to do with the wheels that you get on the pit. I opted to go with the standard six inch pneumatic wheels. These wheels are great for the patio that we have. The options include or could include replacing the six inch pneumatic wheels with six inch cast steel wheels or the wagon option which places four golf cart style wheels so that you can easily roll the pit around in your yard. One of the first things I did when we first got the Workforce 1957 was I removed the grease plug. And you'll notice that the grease plug comes out right over this cross member. And I wanted to put a valve where I could hang a bucket to collect the grease. And I didn't want the grease dripping all over this bar. So I put a 45 degree street elbow and a ball valve, a one inch ball valve, and then a small nipple with a little clamp. So this allows me to hang a little bucket, and then I can open the valve and drain the grease out of the pit. And that way I don't have grease all over my patio, a little bit, but not all over. Once you've figured out which options you want and have placed your order, Workhorse gets to work making your customized Workhorse pit. Now Workhorse pits are very, very popular, so it may take a little while, but the end result is fantastic. Now I'll take you back to the exciting delivery day. And so it arrives, <laughs> the workhorse pit. Made it okay, Clarence? Good, how are you? Right. Here we go, Clarence is opening the trailer. Got to document this, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere inside here is a workhorse 1957. This is the little one they make. <laughs> it's 
smallest one. I see you like me, you like cargo straps. <laughs>